What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another ad hoc video. Uh, today, I will be talking to you about dashboards. So how do we create dashboards? What are they used for? Um, most importantly, how do we share our dashboards? So as always, I invite you to log into the live site and follow along with me. Now, before we get into dashboards, there is one thing that I want to cover that we haven't touched on yet. Um, that's part of readiness and manning analytics, and that's our view selector. So if you remember back to the very first video, our view selector allows us to incorporate multiple views into a drop down. OK, so you can see on this report that I have on the screen, we have our retention report card and I got a couple of tables and a few different uh, graphs and pivot tables included in here. But it's a little bit messy, so I'm going to add a couple of view selectors and it'll allow me to um, incorporate that drop down and I can just toggle in between the reports. So what I want to do is come down here to our new views. And under other views, you should have an option that says view selector. So I'm going to select view selector. And on the left hand side, you'll have all of the available views that you've created. Okay. So I'm going to create two different view selectors. I'm going to add one for my tables. So I'm going to add in my master table, my ETS bins, and my fiscal year. And you can see here, now I can just toggle between those three different reports instead of having all three separate in my compound layout. I'm going to select done. And we're going to add one more view for our visualizations. I'll add in total ETS metrics, and I'll add in my ETS bin metrics. Select done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of all the views that are currently on my layout. And those view selectors that I just created, I'm going to drag and drop into my compound layout. So now instead of having those four or five separate views, I can just toggle in between my tables. So no different than readiness and manning analytics, kind of just a good way to organize your reports. So I'm going to save this and select home. So now we're getting into our dashboards, okay? Now, what is a dashboard? If we go back to the first video when we talked about readiness and manning analytics, a dashboard is simply a, a landing spot, a landing page, whatever you wanna call it, for you to incorporate multiple views or reports into one area. I can have as many pages in a dashboard as I want. I can have as many views or reports within each page as I want. So if you're trying to create good products for a large group of people or your downtrace units, a dashboard is a great way to throw multiple reports in one area and just tell your units to go out and grab it. All right. Now, if we hover over dashboards, every user has a My Dashboard by default. So I'm just going to select My Dashboard. And if you have yet to add anything to your dashboard, your page has no content, it'll be blank. On your top right hand side, you can hover over your toolbar and select Edit Dashboard. And it'll take you to a page that looks like this. So on the left hand side, you can see it defaults, you already have a page one, and you have all your dashboard objects here. Okay. Under catalog is where you can drag and drop your dashboard prompts, your titles, your views, your reports into your dashboard. All right. On your top right hand side, I have add a dashboard page. So I can add a page or a sub page. I can delete a page. And I also have my toolbar. If I hover over my toolbar for a second and select Dashboard Properties,
within dashboard properties, this is where I can change the name of my pages. So all the way at the bottom where it says page one, if I select that, directly above where it says prompt before opening, I have my rename view icon. So I'm gonna rename my view and I'm gonna name this page retention. Select okay. Now you can see the name of the page changed. You also have what are called dashboard report links. So again, going back to readiness and manning, all those hyperlinks that you see for export options, analyze, refresh, that's where um, that's coming from. So if we select dashboard report links, select our edit icon, you can check or uncheck any of these boxes in here. So if you want users to have the ability to edit the reports, refresh, print, export, et cetera. Select OK and select OK. I'm also going to save my dashboard real quick. Now, with the dashboards, um, anytime you make changes to it and you try to switch to another page or exit out of it, it's always going to ask you to save it. So I make it a habit of saving anytime I make a change to the dashboard. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dashboard page. So I'm going to add another page and I'm going to call this one restrictions flags. So now you can see I have two pages. I have one for retention. I have one for restrictions. Save it. Now I'm going to drop some content into my pages. So I'm going to select the drop down from my folders and you can see I have two reports in here. I have one for my retention. I have one for my restrictions. So all you need to do is drag and drop into your content area. And however you drop it in here is how it's going to display on your dashboard when you view it. And you can drag and drop as many views as you want in each page. I'm only going to do one, save it, and I'm going to do the same thing for my restrictions page. So I have my retention report card view, and I have my restrictions view. And when you're ready to check the display or how your dashboard is appearing now that your views are in there. Once you select save, we're simply going to select run. So this is what my dashboard is looking like right now. I have my view selectors that we just added so the user can toggle between the view. Towards the bottom, I have the same for my metrics. And all the way at the bottom, we have those links that we added, export, print, refresh, edit. I can toggle between pages. And I have the same options below. Now, when it comes to sharing dashboards. I'm going to go back to catalog for just a second. No different than reports um, and analysis and filters, I can place dashboards in a shared folder and share them with anyone. The trick or, or key is, is that user has to have access to both the dashboard and all the reports included in it. Okay, so it becomes kind of tricky um, because if I'm trying to edit a dashboard that I don't have access to, or I don't have access to the reports, it's going to give me an error, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example. In my shared folder, I've placed that same dashboard that we just created, okay? If I wanted to copy this to my own profile, I need to have access to both this dashboard and the reports in it. 
So what I want to do is just copy this folder. So I'm going to copy this entire folder, select dashboard training folder. And on the bottom left hand side, I'm going to select copy. Once I copy it, I now want to paste it to my own folder. So I'm going to select paste. And now that dashboard training folder is part of my folder and it's unique to my profile. But the reports at the time the dashboard was created were dragged and dropped from the location of the shared folder. So anytime those reports are edited in that shared folder, it's going to change my dashboard as well, which is what I don't want. The fix is if I go to edit my dashboard that's newly located in my folder, I'm simply going to get rid of this view because we now know that that was inserted in when it was part of the shared folder. So I'm gonna get rid of that view and that same report that's now part of my folder I'm going to insert because now this belongs to me. Save it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the restrictions. And save it. Now all the reports within this dashboard belong to me and me alone. So it will not change unless I edit it. The last kind of key with um, sharing our dashboards, I'm going to go back to catalog for just a second, is if you're receiving an error, I believe the icon is a little yellow triangle um, with your dashboard, that error means that the reports in your dashboard have either been deleted or moved since your dashboard was created. Okay, so let's just give an example. These two reports were inserted into this dashboard from this location. If I move one of these reports, so if I, if I move restrictions flags to this folder, and now I'm going to open that same dashboard, My retention report is still good, but my restrictions report has no data. That means that that report has been moved since this dashboard was created. So like I said, it's kind of tricky when it comes to sharing dashboards, you have to be very careful on when and where those reports were inserted into your content area for your dashboard. Make sure you have access to both the dashboard, all the reports in it, and that those reports were dragged and dropped and those reports were not moved from that same folder or deleted. Okay, so if you're getting errors, check any number of those things that I just mentioned and that'll probably fix it, okay? So that's all I have for you today on dashboards. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow us for future videos. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Defend and serve.